Hello Little Bookworms and welcome to The Littlest Book Corner. My name is Jojo and these are my cuddly friends. And today we actually have a very special cuddly friend with us. It's this adorable little guy here, Little Black Bear. And Little Black Bear was sent to us by Crochet Kids International and he is very special because he's completely handmade and even has the name of the person who made him stitched on right here. Okay, well, the reason we have a little black bear with us today is because today's story is all about a bear. So if you make sure you're sitting comfortably and you have your cuddly friends sitting with you ready to listen to today's story time, I will go ahead and take a look in the story time chest so we can see what book is inside. Today's book is... Bear's Loose Tooth by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. Okay, let's get started. From a cave in the forest came a munch, munch, crunch, as Bear and his friends all nibbled on their lunch. Bear savoured every bite. He gulped and he gobbled. Then there in his mouth something wiggled and it wobbled. As Bear nibbled food, something moved when he chewed. It was Bear's loose tooth. Bear pointed in his mouth and he said, Oh dear, my tooth feels funny. It's the one right here. Bear frowned and he worried. Tears welled in his eyes. But how will I eat if my tooth says goodbye? Hare said, Open wide. Then he looked inside and saw Bear's loose tooth. Mouse squeaked, don't fret, don't fuss, look, see, a new tooth will grow where the old used to be. We'll help, said Wren, I know what to do. It's out with the old and in with the new. When perched on Bear's lip and he got a good grip on Bear's loose tooth. Wren pulled on the tooth with all of his might. Is it out? asked Bear, but it stayed stuck tight. I'm a bit too small for the job, said Wren, so Owl grabbed the tooth, but the tooth stayed in. Badger said, I'll try, and he gave a big pry on Bear's loose tooth. They all took a turn, but the tooth wouldn't budge. Then... Bear used his tongue and he gave a little nudge. His tooth wiggled to and fro. Then what do you know? Bear's tooth fell out. Bear danced a big dance. Bear grinned a big grin. Bear held up his tooth and he showed all his friends. Bear looked in the mirror and he laughed at his smile. A new tooth would come but it might take a while. That night in bed, right next to his head, lay Bear's loose tooth. While he slept and he snored, a fairy fluttered in, and she left blueberries where Bear's tooth had been. He woke in the morning and found the sweet treat. Bear's friends came for breakfast. They sat down to eat. Bear gulped and he gobbled, and he felt something wobble, uh oh, bear's loose tooth. The end. Well, thank you so much for watching, little bookworms. I hope you enjoyed today's story time. And if you have a wobbly tooth or a tooth that has just fallen out, then you know that you don't need to worry because just like our friend Bear, you're going to get a lovely new one. Well, I hope that you will join me for another story time adventure next time. But in the meantime, keep on reading. Goodbye from me and goodbye from Little Black Bear. Goodbye. If your little one loved this book, you can get your very own copy by clicking on the link below. Don't forget to connect with us on social media for story time, giveaways and more. Thanks for watching.